Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're playing the Total War Warhammer 2 Battle Replay. This is actually the quarterfinals of the Shadow Spring tournament, and um, I'm up against Lawmaster of Sotek, who also got through uh, the group stages. And uh, what we're actually going to do um, is pause it, because this map is tiny, and um, there's admin. Um, so also, um, in, this, uh, in this round, you're going to see uh, Turin and uh, Zardar Total Warrior facing off. Um, also, you're going to see Black Iron Battles and John Torn facing off, and you're going to see Zoo Devil and Dove plays facing off. So uh, they're they're the, all the people who got through to the quarter uh, quarterfinals. So um, the winner of this match is going to face either Turin or Zarda. So um, it should be interesting. Um, there's a lot to play for. So uh, yeah, so that's that. But also, um, I want to kind of talk about my build quickly. So because um, I panicked and it, I did it dumb. So we're actually going to fly over to uh, Custom Battles and I'll show you the two armies that I've built for this battle in particular. So this was option one. Um, so basically, Durthu, gotta watch out for the uh, Bastildons and Solar Engines, um, truth be told. But if he did go Dinosaur Heavy, um, I think I've got enough Anti-Large here um, to deal with things. Um, but the War Dancers would have dealt with what little infantry he had. Especially if I charge in with, you know, Durthu and uh, get the Withering from the Branch Wraith. Um, so, here we go. So, uh, you know, minus 30 armor. Pretty cool. Also loads leadership. And if I'm killing things quickly, then leadership can be affected more. So, uh, War Dancers with their, like, crazy glass cannon hit things really, really hard. Uh, that would be great if I can, you know, run in. Sword of Death to Sunder Armor. Withering to Sunder Armor. These guys can just murder anything they touch that's nearby. Eternal Guard can hang out on the sides to, you know, basically just get skirmished a bit, which, you know, is to be expected against Lizardmen. And uh, these guys can then just chase down any big dinosaurs, you know. And uh, these guys as well, with the, uh, you know, usual tricks of uh, Curse of Anra here. It's a lower melee attack, so my glass cannons don't get hit so hard, which is great. So, you know, they'll be a lot more survivable if the enemy can't hit them as well. And, uh, of course, Shield of Thorns to, you know, resist the missile damage and give them even more weapon damage. So these guys become even better glass cannons with some uh, missile resist, which would be lovely. So that's the idea. So usual synergy that I tend to bring, um, you know, with, uh, with the Wood Elves. Uh, but, you know, big sort of melee focus, this one. Uh, but it's just about punching through that line and getting onto the valuable units. Um, that's if he, you know, if he's got the big dinosaurs. But I actually kind of think this works quite well if he goes wide. Um, certainly better, because I can at least, you know, have these guys go straight for the skinks, hold down the Saurus Warriors with the Eternal Guard, and then I can flank them with stuff. And also, you know, any lords or heroes. You expect some large, right? So the War Dancers can deal with that. And if not, they've got good armor piercing at the very least. So they're still, uh, you know, commendable fighters. So that should help. And again, with the curses, pretty good. So uh, option two. Uh, was actually this one. So this is more conventional, but we're on a tiny map. So this I was leaning a away from a bit. So the idea being Curse of Andra here from the Glade, uh, Glady. They're both on eagles, so I can keep them you know, mostly out of harm's way. Uh, the Eternal Guard can hold things in place. They've got the missile resist as well. Uh, War Dancers can go for the big dinosaurs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Go for the big dinosaurs, and uh, then I got a load of glade guard with starfire shafts to start, you know, getting some damage in um, to things like temple guards, stuff like that. And then uh, using prey of anathrema, I could basically have the war dancers just dumpster big things, uh, just out of nowhere. Just go, yep, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead, and uh, then have the sister thorn basically helping defend um, the back line. So uh, the reason I had these guys on eagles, because uh, of course I've got life magic as well, so I can heal stuff up, so keep these guys pinning things in place for longer. Um, so uh, I'll be able to heal stuff up with her. And the Glade Lord, yeah, uh, these two on Eagles, they'll be great uh, chasing down the quicker things that might sort of try and sneak through to deal with the Waywatchers. And the Sister Thorn are great for plugging up those gaps too. So I'd be able to keep these guys relatively safe with this army. So that was the idea. But it is a very small map and I suspected that Sotek would be going wide. And as you can see, I totally split the difference, um, which means that none of it is coherent, um, <laughs> which is ridiculous. So uh, I went with my Eternal Guard front line, you know, which helps against uh, ranged stuff. But then I only brought the one Way Watcher, but then I also had the stomping power of Durthu and the Branch Wraith in the front line to break through things quickly. But then I didn't have the, you know, the infantry to break through quickly. I had a holding thing buffed by other stuff. It's not coherent, right? And just the one Way Watcher, you need two. So that was stupid, and uh, I brought a load of Azrai Spears for big stuff. So it's, this is a weird army, honestly. Um, I panicked and split the difference, it was stupid. But two Scissor Thorn is pretty good, you know, Durthu. Um, so it's a fun army, at any rate. But as you can see, Sotek chose to go with a very wide army. So, um, 
yeah, this, is, well, honestly, if he went all dinos or all wide, um, this wouldn't have really dealt with either, which is kind of sad. Probably would have done better against all dinos, but, um, yeah, I had a feeling it'd go wide, so this is sad. So here you can see, uh, Skin Cohorts with Javelins, he's got a load of them, they do a ton of damage to War Dancers, actually, so that's... Yeah, so that's something, actually. Um, that might have been a bit tricky. So that was a very good call by Sotek there. Also, you can see Chameleon Skinks on either side. These guys are always a good call. You know, they can get around pretty quickly. Um, you know, call some attention on the flanks. They're just a bit of a pain. Um, and here, he's just got a huge jumble of Saurus Warriors of various sorts. So he's got Saurus with Shields, Saurus with Spears, Saurus with Shields, Saurus... Uh, sorry, Temple Guard, Saurus with Shields, Temple Guards, Saurus with Shields, Skink Cohorts defending in the back. He's also got Skink Chief, a Saurus Old Blood, and he's got a Skink Priest of Heavens. The Heavens Skink Priest, that's going to hurt. Um, Wind Blast is no joke. It will tear through things, including what is usually incredibly good, resilient, you know, steadfast um, infantry like the Eternal Guard. Uh, they don't have a lot of armor. Um, as you can see, only 40, so Wind Blast will basically wipe out the unit. And I don't have many units, and Wind Blast is very cheap. So it's going to be rough. So I can speed things up. Um, so I can get my Sister Thorn down one side. Um, a load of spells coming down. He uses Curse the Midnight Wind to try and help cut through these guys. It actually puts my Eternal Guard here down to 10 armor, which is dreadful. Um, and here I'm trying to rush in with some armor piercing stuff. As you can see, I've been using Melkoths on the Temple Guard. I'm hoping to keep spamming him. But my Branch Wraith is really caught out here. And um, yeah, that's not good. Saurus Old Blood is on the warpath. Here I can see Chameleon Skins coming around this way. So I'm trying to move the way watches around. And uh, here, I couldn't really catch them very well, so I'm going to try and charge into these guys. But look how much damage I'm taking on these guys. Um, I thought this charge would just wipe out the skin cohort almost immediately, but they just didn't get hurt on the charge, which is very annoying. Um, do they have charge defense? I didn't realize. No, they don't. They just, they just wouldn't die. Just bizarre. So, I mean, yeah, half the unit's gone now, but still, they're only skinks, and that's, what, 2,200 in funds that just charged him. So you'd think it would do a bit better than that, you know, against something that costs, what, 400? So, anyway. So I get some rear charges, get some good damage into the front line, um, and yeah, it's not going too, too badly. Uh, more male cults on the Temple Guard, slowly whittling them down, but over on this side, uh, there's nothing, and I don't have any big, like, spell that can hit this stuff. Um, Heavens would have been lovely, I wish I could have Wind Blast in this fight. So, uh, here, Chameleon Skinks are chasing me, I'm just running away for some reason, I shouldn't, honestly, I just need to get my cavalry through the front line and kill these guys, because the Way Watchers aren't going to do well in melee, and they can't outrun them. So I tried to outrun them, but they can't, they're just going to keep getting stabbed in the back as they run, and they're a complete waste of time. So that's awful. So yeah, not a good call. And no big dinosaurs to shoot at anyway, so I just had him shooting at temple guards for a bit, but they just did not pay for themselves, even slightly. So uh, that's pretty sad. So here I use the uh, thing that's quite fun, but I, yeah, in tandem with that wind blast, um, we basically both combined our forces to take out all of my eternal guard. So that didn't work so well. Um, that lamentation didn't do so good. Hmm. Anyway, uh, my sister Thorn are taking so much punishment, and they've basically just taken out some cheap units. Yeah, they kind of made some stuff waver in the front line a bit, but sister Thorn just don't quite have the punch to deal with, you know, mass things. They're good for getting in the way of the odd thing that tries to slip through, but mainly their buffs and debuffs are what, you know, really make them count. I mean, they can do a lot of damage on the charge, but for some reason today, these skin cohorts were just not having any of it. Um, you really got those rear, you've got to have those rear charges, you know, so you can ignore the melee defense a bit, so they can hit that much harder. So, a uh, bit of a pity. Uh, but yeah, things are falling apart. Uh, he won before this battle started, honestly. Um, the build just wasn't coherent, you know. It didn't follow any one particular strategy. So, that wasn't good synergy between my units. It just didn't go to plan, you know. Um, also, you know, I basically let my Branch Wraith get caught out straight at the beginning. I mean, he did come back, because he wasn't going to chase me forever with that Asaurus Old Blood. He's got other things to kill. But, I mean, look at the strength he's got left. I mean, he's got so much stuff. This side... Yeah, I did some pretty good damage, but his leadership is still very healthy. He's using a cold-blooded on uh, that Saurus Old Blood, so he's going to end with mostly full health. Um, his, you know, spellcaster is still totally fine. Use a Curse of Andra here, over here while I charge in. You know, one last desperate attempt by the Sister Thorn to do some damage. So, um, yeah, pretty, pretty bad. Um, as Rice Beers came back, still 40 models. You can get in there. Um, but yeah, this didn't go to plan at all. Not at all. But you know why? I showed you the builds. So, um, yeah, yeah. Um, either one would have probably done better. Um, I think I would have gone with the Dirty War Dancers one. Because, um, yeah, my my money was on him going wide. Uh, so I wanted to be able to punch through as quickly as possible. So, yeah, that would have really helped. But no, no, I split the difference. Um, yeah, guys, sometimes just trust your gut. Um, don't second guess yourself just before a battle. Um, it's a bad idea. It is a bad idea, um, but very well played to Sotek. Um, I think going wide 
probably his best option. Um, I think if he went with big dinosaurs, um, even then, like I think I just would have dealt with his front line really quickly, and then I could have just focused his dinosaurs down, um, just with sheer numbers. You know, I, if he'd gone, you know, sort of. Uh, narrow, I suppose. The opposite of wide. Um, yeah, I think I could have just focused him down with sheer numbers, um, you know, and I would have been able to hit his whole army with a Curse of Anra here, rather than having to split them up either side. So I could have done one, and then I could have cast the other Sister of Thorns Curse of Anra here. You know, I could have just kept everything debuffed, um, you know, get Shield of Thorns on stuff. Um, yeah, I, he had to go wide, I think. This was his best call, and it worked out great. And I just didn't bring the build to deal with it, which is a real shame. But it was a lot of fun. And uh, there's still two more rounds, because uh, these rounds are actually best of threes. So um, if I can win the next one, then I'm still in it. So that's something. So um, hopefully we can pretend that this battle never happened, and that I never brought this ridiculous sort of non-synergistic mess of an army. Um, it was a real pity. Um, I, Yeah, it just... Yeah, the, the less that can be said about it, the better. Um, but well played, Lord Monster Sotek. Um, guys, obviously go check out his channel. Um, you know, he does a lot of lore videos, and, uh, you know, he does stream as well. Um, I think, does he play Blood Bowl now as well? Hmm. I think he's been playing Blood Bowl. Yeah. Anyway, he also does, does uh, Tabletop, um, which he does on uh, Tabletop Simulator, so you can see some Age of Sigma and things, which is pretty cool. Don't get that on a lot of channels um, that play Warhammer Total War, so pretty cool. So be sure to check him out, and uh, yeah, uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Wish me luck, guys. Um, so if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, guys.